Hey there, folks. Welcome back for day 19 of the 30 Days of Banjo, and we've got a new tune today. This is going to be really cool because just like with Cripple Creek, when we already knew a lot of the techniques that were involved, we already know all of the techniques involved in this tune. This is called Cumberland Gap. It's another one of those fiddle tunes that works similarly to Cripple Creek, where we play the A section twice and the B section twice. What I just played was the A section, and I played it twice. So let's take a look at this tune, and then tomorrow we'll look at the next part. Like I said, the cool thing about this tune is that we already know all the parts. So this first measure especially, it's really just that hammer-on like that we've already looked at. Then we have another sliding lick, slightly different than what we already have. What we usually have been doing so far is an alternating roll, right? Well, what if we did more of a forward roll, like this? All that is, is our little slide, then two, one, five. Great. Then that's followed by the second fret on the first string, and then a pinch. So that measure in its entirety sounds like this. Next, we have kind of a variation on our forward backward roll. Remember that the forward backward roll is thumb, index, middle, thumb, and then reverse that. Middle, index, thumb, middle. It doesn't really matter what strings it happens on, just that it's that order of the fingers. So here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna play five, two, one, with our finger on the second fret of the first string. And then thumb on the fifth. Then for the backward part of it, we're gonna take our finger off, one, two, put the finger back on, three, and then we play our open first string. Then after that, it's just the first measure again. So here's that whole section played slowly. So your homework with this lesson is just to get familiar with this tune and how some of the same patterns we've already used are used in different ways. Aside from that, you can focus on the tunes we've already looked at, like Boil That Cabbage Down or Cripple Creek, but maybe you'd want to focus on Boil That Cabbage Down, including the Up in the Neck version, since that's something we looked at more recently. By the way, the featured banjo player for this lesson is Ron Block. Ron is also one of my favorite banjo players, believe it or not, and is known probably best for playing with Allison Krauss and Union Station. He's got a really unique style that blends a lot of traditional bluegrass banjo technique as well as guitar technique. So you're really gonna enjoy that, I think. Make sure you check out the playlist that I put down in the description. Also, feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 20 of the 30 Days of Banjo.